This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is a case of Robinson versus Smith. You all have been together for two and a half years. You're living together. You have three children together. You previously appeared in front of Judge Lauren Lake of Paternity Court, where you got your paternity issues resolved. But Judge Lake ordered you to appear in this court because there are unresolved issues of infidelity. Am I right, Ms. Robinson? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, tell us why you've opened this case. I opened this case because I've been with Larry for two years, and even though we established, you know, paternity with our children, I feel like our relationship is still on the line because I think he's cheating. Oh. I'm not happy, and I'm pretty sure he's not happy. So for two and a half years, you all have been going back and forth, back and forth the entire time? Um, I guess it started probably three weeks to... three weeks to a month into our relationship. We've been rocky for a minute now because in the beginning of our relationship, it was... it started with untrust. Like, we, we got together, found out she was talking to some other people and other men. So we got into it over that, then over her, over that reaction, I started talking to other people, so... and that broke the trust in the beginning. So that's why we've been having problems down the line. But, Mr. Smith, right here, right now, what are you here to prove? I'm here to prove that I've been faithful and we're trying to just get this over with so we can have a successful family and move on with our life. You said the first three weeks, I hope it was longer than that, were happy times. Tell me about that first three weeks of the beginning. Okay, so... Look at that smile. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cause I love him. That's my I baby, you know? Too. I do love him. That's the only uh, reason y'all made it this far. <laughs> that smile says a lot. It I does, mean... it does. That makes me feel a little better. Okay, tell me about the... Tell me how he caught your eye. So, when I, I... When I seen him, I was with my friends, and I'm like, you know, you looking real daddy-ish. We was at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> he had the little sweatpants on. He was looking good, for real. Uh, now, did you step to him or did he... I you stepped went... to him. You stepped to him. All right, tell me what that looked like. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. Listen up. Listen All up. Right. What, bring it. Bring Cause it. Because I just had to, you know, I had to put a little game. I had him call me, you know. I, I pushed off for two weeks and talked to him for two weeks, you know. We've been together ever since. So, it was some spark it was. there. Yeah, I ain't it was never... definitely a spark. I ain't never... All right, Mrs. Smith, I need yeah. to hear... Go ahead, uh, yeah, Big Daddy. Yeah, when I first seen him, I'm like... Wait a minute, look at that spark. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's, 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 it's some truth. It's some truth to the Big Daddy, because uh-huh. he just smiling. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, when yeah. I, when she was I worth waiting two weeks for, right? When I first met her, she was a very attractive female, pretty, sexy, intelligent, beautiful. You know, yeah. she, she she attracted me, so I had to get her. We talked, we, we took off from there. We've been rocking there since, but it's just been all these complications with it, so that's why we're here today. So we talked about the rocking, which sounds lovely. Tell me about the rolling. Why are we here today? Why you think he's cheating? I feel like he's cheating because um, I was roaming through his Facebook and his phone one day, and I seen some Facebook messages, okay. which I have today. Ron, would you get it's, those for us, please? It's... It's about two women that I don't even know, you know? All right, so this okay. is him. So, they say it's Larry. Yeah. What you doing? Mm-hmm. In Heights, Blank Heights. Yeah. What's popping? I'm about to hit the Ceno. That's what's up. <laughs> like, what's... And then the second one says, and this is a different woman, about to go to sleep now. I was up because my baby was up. And so he asked, you got a hubby now? And she said, why? Why you say that? Because I was trying to what's up with you. <laughs> and you found these in his phone. Okay. On what? his Facebook. What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Why are you trying to what's up with somebody? I ain't trying to what's up with him. I just needed to talk to him because I don't talk, talk to him. Talk to him about what? What did you talk about? I don't get no... I don't talk... Him. We don't talk. I but mean... what you said here was... I was trying to what's up with you, which means you were trying to do something. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to do anything. That's what it, it was just talking. I was just trying to just... But just... then, here's the other part. Okay. The part before that. You got a hubby now. Why was that important if you weren't trying to what's up with him? Right. <laughs> See, you had to first find out where they had a hubby. Dude, you trying to be her hubby or something? So, Our... but Mr. Smith... Did you find out what's up with this woman? No. Did you go? Never happened. Did you actually find out what's up with this woman? You did not have any kind of sexual relationship or contact with this woman. I thought, what about the one with the casino? Or as you said, the casino. 
No. Did you hook up with her? No, nothing ever happened with neither one of them. We just talked. So you just talking? Just talking. That's, that's it. your testimony. That's my testimony. You just talking. He just talking. Okay, nothing so why happened. did he come home? He don't come home. Give me an example. Okay, so he gets off for work about, you know, between three to six, depending on how his boss feeling. So he calls me. We he, I didn't contact. We didn't talk to about six, seven. By that time, he FaceTiming. I see him outside, standing at the bus stop, you know. I'm like, okay. So, so you FaceTiming him, he's on the bus stop. He FaceTimed me to prove to me that he was on his way home. I ain't even asked okay. him to FaceTime. And this is about what time? This was about 7. 7 in the evening. So okay. I, I, I'm like, okay, you on your way. So I didn't mess with him until about one, you know, about 8 o'clock, an hour later. And no call, no show, no answer, phone going to voicemail. He not active on Facebook, but I'm like, you just left your family house. I didn't start getting worried until it started, until about 10, 11. And so, three, started... four hours later. Yeah, and when it started raining bad, I'm looking, it's 12 o'clock, all the warnings on the TV going off, and I'm like, I'm trying to call him, like, what's going on, shoot? Situation was, I got off work. Okay. On my way, on my way t to my, to back home, it started raining. It was a huge rainstorm. But so it didn't start going, until it's, 12 it's, I got a I got a flood warning sent to my phone saying it was really raining. I'm already halfway soaked, already halfway soaked, just getting off of work. So my my family member would live right down the street. So I'm like, I might as well go over here instead of standing in the but rain. But if it wasn't, the bus but if we soaked. didn't, oh, hold on, hold on. So in that process, when I went over there and stayed over my family member house, it ended up being a power outage. So now I don't have oh, no communication now. The, what they used to call a landline. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you could use that. Yeah, everybody no, they didn't have no Maybe he can use the charger. Phone, everybody my, has My family them. member phone was dead as well. You can charge his phone up as well. So now nobody got a charger. Well, you know, Here's the deal. Based on your court papers and, was... and what you all had put in them, we did a little research. And we have a court uncovers here. And what I have here is something from the newspaper that says, severe Metro Detroit rainstorm. So there was a rainstorm. A horrific thunderstorm crossed southeast Michigan overnight, ending with flooded roads and downed power lines. A severe thunderstorm warning was issued at approximately 1 a.m. Four hours after you left no. work. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's what Seven I'm saying. Hours. Seven That's hours. That's what I'm saying, because it didn't start raining <laughs> until it was like 12 o'clock. I'm like, so no. what's going Then on? the warning expired at 1.45 a.m. So why didn't you go home? No, that's not that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that is what happened. That is what happened. That's what I'm right. saying. And that's why I don't trust him. To yeah. me, there's a different I'm crazy. A different kind of storm going on. Yeah, a whole uh, different kind different. of storm. And that's why I don't trust him. So did he come home that night? No, he did not come home that night. I I have no choice but to feel like he's cheating because. I come home. I ain't never spent a night out in our relationship. We've been together for two and a half years. I ain't shoot. I don't even go nowhere. So, okay, he, came, so... he came home at some point, right? About 9 o'clock, bro. I went to sleep about 5, woke up about 9, because I know he'd be at work about that time. Even if I know anything, he's going to go to work. Okay. The next day? The next day. OK. And you still ain't seen or heard from I still from ain't seen or heard from him. I go All on right. Facebook, and it said he active on Facebook. So I call him, and he answered. He's just so nonchalant about it. Um, he like, oh, well, it was raining, and if it's raining, I'm not coming home. Ooh. That made me mad. So I'm like, okay. So I, I took my babies, my three babies, my one little stroller, little twin, little carrier. We took two buses to this man job. And I, 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 I tried to go up there calm and collect this, you know? <laughs> but. When I seen him, I was just so mad. I'm like, dang, you really gonna play me like Ms. that? Ms. Robinson, said that me and you both know you went down there to fire him up. Yeah. yeah. yeah come on. I had to that's go that's, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. That's exactly what happened, too. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. <laughs> when she loaded up them twins and that baby, she was coming in as a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> there was a storm the night before. They were going to oh, be yeah. storm that morning. It <laughs> so I'm just still working. Next thing I know, I see her at the door. I'm scared. I'm like, what's going on? Where's she coming from? So, now, wait a minute. Mr. Uh, Smith, if you don't say nothing else true, I know that's man, true. Oh, my God. I'm like, I don't even get a chance to explain the story. He nothing. just was too nonchalant for me. She gets straight The bottom line is, 
you think that while that storm was kicking off, he was kicking off. With somebody else. With somebody else. Yeah, because, okay, so when he finally came home, you working and you moving and stuff, you know, and you ain't been home in two days. Ain't no way you smell like soap. What? Smell he like smell soap. Like pure... Okay, wait a minute. What? Hold up. He smell like pure soap, okay? <laughs> I'm like, I, even if he did got off that day, you feel me? I, I kind of feel like he got off at 2 o'clock and probably slid off somewhere or something because he smells so clean for me, especially I, being gone for two days. I'm getting accused of cheating because I smell like soap. Mm -hmm. I was over my, my family in my house that morning, so why wouldn't I wash up? and then go to work. Why would I go to work stinking? But you still smell sense. like soap after you got off That's of common work. sense. Okay. I didn't stop nowhere. I didn't go nowhere. I went to work and I came home. That was it. So here's what I want to know for sure. Mr. Smith, yeah. it is your testimony that the day that you came home from the storm, after the storm, after the storm came down to your job, you were not with another woman. Yes, Your Honor. And it's your testimony that you have been faithful. Yes, Your Honor. That there has been no cheating on your part. Yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Keller, I think we got what we need. I do, and here's what we're looking at. She thinks he's cheating, and if you find out he is cheating... I, I gotta be done with this. All right. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Kendall Shull to determine is he cheating? Kendall Shaw. Thank you. Uh, would you please share for the court record and for our litigants your credentials? I was privileged to be hired by Jagger Hoover in the FBI uh, right after I graduated from college. Spent almost 30 years with the FBI in Washington, D.C. You asked, Mr. Smith, when you didn't come home and claimed it was due to the weather, did you have physical sexual contact with another woman other than your girlfriend, Miss Robinson? What was Mr. Smith's response? He said no. You nervous? No, I'm not. Why you don't use up? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm getting what nervous. did the lie detector determine, Mr. Shaw? Well, the lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Let's find out some more. I told you, man, I told you. That made me smile. It was just raining. That made me smile. <laughs> you asked Mr. Smith, after your girlfriend, Miss Robinson, confronted you at work because you didn't come home, did you have physical sexual contact with another woman on that day? What was his response? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? On this question, the lie detector determined that he was also being truthful. <laughs> so, you lady, you don't think I can. You okay. Ain't out here like that. She's smiling. <laughs> She's smiling like what she said, Daddy. <laughs> okay, he, he might be a little more daddy. Let me finish hearing this. All right. Finish hearing this. All right. Well, we've got one more question. <sighs> you asked Mrs. Smith, during your two and a half year relationship with Ms. Robinson, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Ms. Robinson? What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? Your Honor, on this question, it determined that he was actually being deceptive. What? No way. That's not nah, cool. don't get to doing that, no way. Mr. Smith? Yes, Your Honor. This woman loves you. You owe it to her to come clean. So if you've been be kissing, kissing, hugging, oral sex, any type of physical contact, yeah, I did. What happened? We had an apartment together, and we was going back and forth. We was arguing every day. She was um, coming in late at work every day, just making me think she was doing something. So, yeah, I talked to a female. I hugged her or whatever. We talked or whatever, kicked her, but I ain't never had no no physical penetration and no sex with her and no like, stuff like that. And then... So what did you do with her? Was it oral sex? Yeah. Okay. All right. And that's the only one you're saying that you've been... That was it. About. That was the only time I ever did something. Well, Ms. Robinson, what we need to know... Mm-hmm. You came here to get some answers. You got those answers. 
Where is this relationship going from here? <laughs> and let me just say this. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you woman to woman, okay? It's okay to forgive him and work it out. You don't have to go, I'm out! Now, you can't. And I don't want to just do that, but, it, I mean... You, you can go and, either and way. I, what just made, what, what irritates me is I tell him just to tell me the truth. Because we can work things out better if he just tell me the truth. Right. And, okay. it, and, and he's we, done that. And I feel like I've been lied to, though. You but have. You, you have been lied to, but you've gotten what you asked for. This was a long road to get to the truth, but you're there. You all have been together as a couple for three years. You're living together. And, Ms. Spillman, you thought you had found the one, but now you're questioning the choice you have made. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. All right, would you tell us what's at stake today? Our relationship. Uh, I'm, I'll leave him if I find out he's, we're che he's cheating on me. We've been together for three years. Um, our spending time together changed significantly. Like, we used to go to the movies, beach... And, and why is all that? that stopped significantly. And why is that? Because it, it takes two to No, no. It's you. It's all me. Hold huh? on, it's Mr. You. Morris. Hold on, Mr. Okay. Morris. You. So you're saying that, that you all aren't interacting. How does it make you feel, though? I feel hurt. Like, he, it's like, it feel like my heart just been stomped all over. Oh. Uh, like, I'm a good person. I'm, I'm a good so woman. Good. And you like... What defines that? Yes. Because I cook, I clean, so what, your, I, I what take behavior care of you. That you demonstrate oh. that... Please. That Whatever. To okay, that. Whatever. Mr. Morris, have you been cheating on Ms. Spillman? No, sir. Okay, no, all right. How is your relationship from your standpoint? It's, it's rocky, but it's not on the, the, the verge of uh, shambles. Yeah. It's not yeah, falling. Yeah. You know? It been fell. So how do you feel about it these fell. accusations? I, I feel I feel very, I feel very Please. indifferent, truthfully. I feel very indifferent because, like, hmm. you know, she has no actual facts. <laughs> and I and I don't even know why how my help get on that side, on her side, yeah. anyway. <laughs> Please, because they know. All right, but here's the thing. Mm -hmm. My mama said that people will tell you exactly who they are. You just got to listen. Yeah, exactly. Sure. And I was listening. And what you said was, she ain't got no facts. Mm -hmm. Which is different yes. from, I haven't done anything. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, and so... Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Spillman? Yes. He said there are no facts yes, there to your is. allegations. Uh, what facts do you have? I was doing laundry. I found the lip gloss, a female's lip gloss. Was you doing laundry pocket. or was we all okay. doing laundry? Uh, hold on, hold on, Mr. Morris. We're getting ready for bed. A condom fell out his Wait, pocket. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. all right. Man, she is... She is... Okay, pop, all right. Pop, pop, pop. Let, me, uh, let, me, let me break that up. You said you found... A lady's lip gloss... Lip gloss. ...in his pants pocket. How did you find it? When I was doing laundry. You're doing the laundry. I checked the pockets and found ladies' lip gloss. It wasn't he no said, lip gloss. It Hold on. said his lips was chapped. Not no okay. female's lip gloss. I don't give a damn. So you found a lady's lip gloss. It wasn't your lip gloss. No, it wasn't. It doesn't belong to anybody in your family. No. Okay. No. And you're trying to figure out why there's a lip gloss in his pocket. Yes. Okay, what else did you find? Wait, 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 wait. I want to find out about the lip gloss. It was, Mr. Moore. It, it was not no lip gloss. Yeah. yeah. Okay, she not... found something in, the, in so your the... pocket. What was it? A female friend of mine's brought me some... It's the skinnier version of a chapstick. Uh -huh. It's a okay. pineapple okay. flavor chapstick. Okay, pineapple yeah. Flavor. yeah. For saying, nice. a lot of women gonna say, well, yeah, a woman supposed to have this. Um, or, or, yeah, a man gonna say, yeah, but it. it was from a friend, so I kept it. And I like Full pineapple flavor, you... so she got... Who doesn't like pineapple? pineapple. What's but... not to like about she pineapple? She got me a pineapple yeah. chapstick. So, and it was... Yeah. So, I'll hold on, hold on. Hold, hold, hold. Stop. All right. All right, wait. I... You tell everybody to wait. Everybody, 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 be, everybody be quiet. Okay. Mom, you gotta be quiet too. Everybody be quiet. <laughs> Here, look, just you're saying that the what Miss Spillman is calling lip gloss was a chapstick for you, yes. pineapple flavored. It wasn't some other woman's. Oh, it was something that had been given to you because you had chap lip. Yeah, she brought it for me. Man, okay. Man used and it was, but it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't lip gloss for a woman. Is that correct? It was chapstick. Uh -huh. Okay. Pineapple chapstick, flavor of chapstick. Mm. But, okay. And but, the girls but wait, man, so Mr. Wait, Morris, man, get it? Man, Mr. Morris, you said this woman bought it for you? Mm. Yes. So that's the that's the concern. So you know, and he told you this woman bought this chapstick for him. No, he's full of it. Um, I was doing laundry. 
the lip gloss came out. He said he was holding it for somebody. Now, when we're getting ready for bed, a condom falls out of his pocket. Is this a different day? Yes. All right. He said he had purchased it for somebody. But we don't use condoms. We, we, you know, we've been together for three years, so we don't use condoms. So why are you holding a condom for somebody else? You purchased a condom for somebody else? No. Okay, tell me what, what happened? happened. Me and my man was hanging together. Oh. We was hanging out, kicking it. We were writing all day. <laughs> I said, yo, let me get a lighter, bro. Off instincts, he just pulls <laughs> everything out of his pocket. Along came. I'm oh, tired. my bad. So, the dude, oh, my bad. No, I, give me I hold on to it. I hold on to it, too. I got it. Yeah. I put some. <laughs> what you need I'm it for? Like, because that's like, that's what like, like <laughs> girls hanging around and they see some lip gloss or they see a pair of shoes. On. Oh, let me hold these. Let me use yeah. yeah, they do that too. <laughs> and so men have things that they do too. Wait. Well, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> let me use this. No matter what it is. Oh, hold on. Men hold each other's condoms? No. <laughs> okay, men I'm do not answer. hold each other's condoms. Unless they intend on using them. <laughs> Mr. Morris, your story is that you were holding it for a friend. A friend, you got it from a friend. And, and color, that's it. a good friend. That's a good, good friend. friend. <laughs> hold, hold your okay. wallet. Hold my ha- chapstick. I gave the my lighter car. back. <laughs> okay. I gave the lighter back. Oh, you gave the lighter yeah, back. I gave the lighter back. I gave the lighter back. All right. Is there any other reason that supports your beliefs yes. about Mr. Morris's behavior. Yes. Every morning, he's been getting up early, dressed to go to Buffalo, talk about he's going to help a family member. And he... don't come back till, like, 1, 2 in the morning. Mr. Morris, why are you spending so much time over in Buffalo without Ms. Spielman? B- Buffalo, that's where I'm from. That's where my family at. Okay. So, so she go... can't go visit your family? My family has a business. I go over to work with my family. I come <laughs> back home at night to wow. her. Yeah, there are a few times huh. where... I didn't know I had a curfew anyway, first of all. Oh. This is well, not my wife, secondly. And oh, I'm not her okay. husband, thirdly. I'm just saying. Well, that's I'm all just right. saying. Okay. I'm just saying. You I, didn't know I, I didn't know I had, a, I didn't know I had to be in the house for the life all of all. Light. I didn't know that. <laughs> and she seen me at work. She seen me yeah. building a house. She seen me. She seen oh. me doing that. Wow. So why would you come around there? It's nails falling. It's... It's, pl- it's plaster falling, it's roofing falling, shingles falling, and you want to sit there in the rain with me outside. <laughs> she, a, that's not a woman's position to be at a man's job, period. Mm-hmm. So are you sure that's okay, all that's wait falling? A minute. You're not falling for some other woman in Buffalo? Wait a I'm minute. working. She seen me. No. No, <laughs> you... sir. No, Your Honor. You have said some falling. really crazy, disrespectful stuff. <laughs> so let me just, let me just rewind. No. <laughs> no, no. You said, I'm not married. And I didn't know I had a curfew. Well, you are in a relationship with her. You all are living together. Out of respect, if you're gonna be coming in at one or two in the morning, you you call. So that's one. And and number two, just so you know, just so you know, there is not any place that a woman doesn't belong. If she can hang classes, she should be doing that. Ms. Spillman, you have a witness here. Yes, Could you I please do. stand, sir, and come behind the podium? That's what's wrong with <laughs> Could you state your name? My name is Larry Miller. All right, Mr. Miller, what is your relationship to Ms. Spillman and Mr. Morris? Uh, I've been known Mr. Morris for five years. That's from a good friend of mine, and Ms. Spillman, is, I'm engaged to her daughter, Sierra Spillman. Okay, so you're a so future son in law. So that's a yes. conflict. All right. <laughs> but you're also good friends with him. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ha- have you witnessed anything that Mr. Morris has done? Well, I'm gonna say about two to three weeks ago, we went to the beach. He was down by the beach, the girls was up by the picnic tables. He picked up some woman and was hugging her by the buttock, swinging her around down by the beach. So when I asked him, I'm like, who's that? He was like, oh, it's just a childhood friend. But me being engaged, I know for a fact that ain't how you're supposed to handle yourself in a relationship. So <laughs> I'm just... I was kind of shocked myself when I first saw it. But he kind of, he, he, he slick with his tongue. He, he told me something and I believed him. But now I figured out that I really think that he is cheating on Pearl, but she's a good woman, you know what I'm saying? And she don't deserve that. She don't deserve it. So you believe that he is cheating? Yeah, with the going out at six in the morning, catching the first bus to Buffalo and coming back on the last bus, it's only room for cheating with that. All right, All right, thank you so much, sir. Have a seat. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm devastated. Mr. Morris, <laughs> are you devastated? The, the woman on the beach, let's start there. You on the beach, while you're supposed to be there with your family, you going and meeting people, picking them up, grabbing them by the buttocks? Is that what you're doing? Mm. 
The girl is a little taller than me. <laughs> first of all. First of all, she is a little taller than me. So it made it easy. If, if, no, if, <laughs> Did I you just it was, say it made it I, easy? It didn't make it easy. It was more accessible for me to touch that part because of my height I am. She's very <laughs> tall. She's very tall. So, you know what? What am I supposed to do here? I'm stuck between her and her. What am I supposed to do? Not She's grab her at me. all? She came to hug me. It's been a long time I ain't seen her. You hug up here? And the... the up here? The, ev <laughs> the event that we was at promotes hugging. So it was, it was permissible for me to hug. Uh, it was permissible for you to everybody, grab her bottom. Everybody literally, everybody literally hugs each other when we see it. There's no handshake, there's no high, there's hugging and. Okay, there's hugging. so Mr. Mars, this, you know, hugging, promoting event, you know, <laughs> was it such that you had to grab her by the buttocks and pick her up off the ground? Because that's what was described. It was National Hug Day. <laughs> it was I, 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 else, I, I, wait, wait a minute, and I didn't get my hug on hug day. You owe me, man. All right, because it was all turn around. Days, so I know. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> keep it going. Yeah, keep it going. <laughs> so it's your testimony that you're not cheating. Not on Pearl. No. All right. Miss Spielman, he says you don't have any proof. Yes, I do. do you, is it, have you found anything yes. that makes you think he's cheating? He was sleeping. His phone had went off. I picked his phone up and went into the kitchen. There was a, a text from Rachel asking him to come over so they can have sex. All right, and you submitted that to the court. Yes, I did. All right. And it says, are you going to come over and blank me tonight? <laughs> and we know the word that was in there meant have sex. And you said it's from Rachel. Yes. Okay, how say, do you know her? Because they see me. My daughter saw them walking together. And okay. And she had called me because she seen them, go seen them two go in her house. Did she see him come out of the house? No. So you're pretty sure he was there? Yes. Oh, yeah. Right. Mr. Morris, why were you at Rachel's house? Because it was in her house. See, they don't even know where the girls stay at. Why were you in Rachel's house? <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to take Rachel some things over to her house from time to time. She just... She, I know she liked me. You know, who wouldn't? <laughs> so you're friends, you hang out, you know, it's, but nothing... Everything innocent. Yeah, it's, it's, it's innocent now. Yeah. And Ms. Spillman, you, you don't believe it. I don't, that. Ever, I don't no, think I got I don't. that text message. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. You don't know about I, that. It could be anybody. Yeah. It could Are be. Are you going to come over and see me tonight? Well, there's Ms. Spillman's side, there's Mr. Morrison's side, and you know what? No. Miss Rachel Mitchell is here. She's uh -huh. going to tell her side. <laughs> About to find the truth out now. I bet she huh. did. Would you state your name, please, for the record? Yes, my name is Sajana Mitchell, aka Rachel. Rachel's the name you go by. Yes. That's what people know you as. Yes. Right. What is the nature of your relationship to Miss Spillman and Mr. Morris? Well, I known Mr. Morris for about five years. And we know each other through mutual friends. And do you know Miss Spillman? No. He never talked about her. We never had any conversations. <laughs> any of that. You did not know he was in a relationship <laughs> no. with Miss Spillman? No. So what? All right, so Miss Spillman's what? daughter said that she saw Mr. Morris come into your place. So Maybe she probably seen him creeping out my house. I understand creeping, like, sneaking out because yeah, he's been uh, over there. It's quiet. Yeah. yeah. Like, tiptoe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me just ask you, are y'all in a sexual relationship? Mm, yeah, I would say huh. that, yes. Yes, we are. So you all are having sex? Mm -hmm. When much. was the last time you had intimate relations with Mr. Morris? Two weeks ago. Huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So oh. when you say creeping, it's not just tiptoeing. Mm -hmm. Honey, not at all. Not at all. Not this at all. And absurd. you never knew about Miss Spillman? Never knew her, never seen her. Don't know this her. This is absurd. Mr. Moore. I'm just as shocked as you is. <laughs> wow. Trust and believe. I'm just as shocked. <laughs> so you saying this woman has come here and made this up? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> Pretty much? What Pretty part much. has she made up? All of it. I have never <laughs> had sex with that woman. Yeah. Have you... Well, let me ask you, you this. so much. Ha have you seen her naked? No. Mm. Mm. Has she seen you naked? 
Probably on Facebook, probably. Mm. Yeah. Not on Facebook, honey. Okay. Not on or... Facebook, honey. Miss Mitchell? Not on Facebook. Jeez. <laughs> you know, I don't... me and her together. Have you seen in him room? naked? No. Yes, I have. Has he seen you naked? Yes, he has. Oh, wow. Have you I all done sexual things? I don't naked? recall that. Yes, we have. Kissing, hugging, petting, oral yeah, sex. Yeah, that's why he had the chapstick. Ah. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Is this, the, is this the person who brought you the pineapple chapstick? I need yes. them lips to be yes. tasty when I'm tasting them. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now, are you all still neighbors? No, not anymore. Where do you live now? In Buffalo. Oh, oh okay. This doesn't make any sense. You busted. <laughs> no, it's, it's all out there. You no, busted. No, yeah. Cold busted. You need to be exposed yeah. for your actions. You can't even not talk. Okay, Mr. Morris, Mr. Morris. Yeah, Morris. Yeah. Where's that proven at? Mr. Morris. Do you yeah. want me or do you want Pearl? Do you I, don't want... have to, I don't have to choose between any one of y'all. Oh. oh. None of, neither one of y'all is going anywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Neither one of them is going anywhere. Oh, I'm, I'm going, yeah. I don't need to talk. How's she going? I don't She's deserve still here. this. I don't deserve it at all. Oh, I know you don't deserve it. Yeah, I deserve better. You absolutely deserve better. Yes. She got the best right here. Yeah, you know what? Right. I want yeah, you to right. be quiet. I don't... Listen, listen to me. Mm. I don't want you to say nothing else. And Miss Mitchell, you need to be kicking rocks, too. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Do something. Yeah. This is, this is, this is crazy. You are 40 years old. You are too old to be acting like this. You acting like you're 20 years old. Your player days are done. You're too oh, yeah. old for this. 